Hello, welcome to lesson 22, Method Overriding vs. Method Iding in C-Sharp brought to you by Ankpro Technologies and my name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn the difference between Method Overriding and Method Iding. Right now, we'll jump into Visual Studio and explore it. Here, we are having a console template. What I'll do here is, using the concept of inheritance and polymorphism, we'll create some, we'll do, we'll create two classes and we'll do inheritance and also we'll see the concept of polymorphism. Now what I'll do, I'll just create a class called base class. Once I'm done with this base class, what I'll do, what is my objective? In this base class, I want to have a method called print method. Public void print. Now what I'll do, I'll just use I want this method to print a print a statement called I am a base class print method on the console. I am base class print method Now uh, similarly I'll have another class called now to reduce the time, what I'll do, I'll just copy this class and I'll just change the name of the class. Control V and this is derived class. I want this method, this derived class to print. Derived class. I'm having base class and a derived class and I'll use the concept of inheritance and I'll inherit this base class to a derived class. How to inherit? It's very simple. Colon with the class name which you want to inherit. Now I've done the inheritance to a derived class. Now we'll see the method overriding. Now when I create an object of base class and I'll point to a child class object at that time method overriding should happen. How to do it? It's very simple. Now if I want now first I'll create a object of base class base class B is equal to new base class instead of calling this class what I'll do is I'll just cause call the derived class derived class and what I'm trying to do is in the, as in inheritance we saw a base class reference variable can point to a child class object that's what I'm doing here and once I'll call b p dot print method now the question is which method will get invoked when we do method overriding now b dot print method since derived class is having the capacity to execute both the methods that is the method in the child class as well as the method in the Drag class itself. Now, when I call this b dot print, which method will call? Whether this method in the child class or the method in the base class? When we do overriding, now to do overriding, we have to add the override. Before that, we have to make the method in the base class as virtual. Once the method in the base class is is made virtual, now when the derived class if you want to over once the method in the base class is made virtual you can override this method how to do overriding it's very simple in the derived class method just add a override keyword to the method which you want to override now it's very simple now the base class variable b is pointing to a child class object and using that object we are calling the print method since we are since we, since we are calling the print method it will it will check the method first. Now here the method is virtual. Since it is virtual in the base in the derived class we can override that method. Now here you can see in the derived class we have overridden the method which is present in the base class using the override keyword. Now when I call this method p dot print what happens is the base class variable b will check what type of object I have called. It's a derived class object. Okay. Now it goes to derived class and it will check the definition of it. Now your public override. It comes to know that I have to override the method which is present in the base class. Now when I run the program, the method which is present in the derived class, this method will get executed, not this method because it has overwritten the method which is present in the base class. 
the method is print method now when I run this program the output is I am from I am a derived class method that's what happens when you do method overriding it's very simple the summary is when you override a method the method in the derived class execute gets executed not the method in the base class that's that's all about method overriding now if I want to add a method how do I do it it's very simple now I'll just replace with override keyword with new now when I use new keyword it tells us that this method will get id when I call when I create an object of derived class this method will get id this method in the base class will get id but what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to invoke the method which is present in the base class hidden method in the base class now this method will get invoke when I call using the base class reference variable pointing to a child class object now when I do b dot print what happens is it checks b dot uh, base class variable b checks what type of object derived class object okay then it goes here and it will see public new void print since it is a reference variable of base class it will not call this method it just calls the method which is hidden it will call this method and when I run this program you can observe the change it will call I am a base class print method that is the difference between method overriding and method hiding right now we'll jump into presentation I create when I call this b.print method it will call the overridden method that is derived class print method but when I call b.print method in method hiding it will just invoke the hidden method that is public this method will just will call when I do method hiding why because I am creating a base class reference variable b pointing to a child class object this is method overriding and method hiding we'll jump into next slide here you can see the complete definition of it in the method overriding a base class reference variable pointing to a child class object will invoke the overridden method in the child class that was, that's what I said when you call this it will invoke this overridden method it will call derived class print method coming to method hiding a base class reference variable pointing to a child class object will invoke the hidden method in the base class now when you call this b.print it will invoke the hidden class hidden member in the base class that is it will invoke this print method base class print method that's about method overriding and method hiding Thank you. Please subscribe to IMPRO training below. Have a great day.